today we're going to be talking about creative ways to bind our quilts, right? Yep. yep. So tell us what we have. So one of the first things we're going to start with is piping. Okay. Um, a lot of quilters are not used to thinking about using other sewing techniques in their quilts because right. they started as quilters and they never maybe have uh, worked with piping before and a lot of the other different things that we're going to be doing today. Um, so I thought I would just give a little bit of uh, tips on how to use piping, how to introduce it into your quilt. Any of the piping feet, if you look at the difference between them, the bottoms are dug out and the way that you use it, the piping or the raised area gets underneath the foot. So now side to side that piping is not going to move. Mm -hmm. So we're going to set up on our machine and we're going to use the mini piping foot. It's clear so that you've got a really good visibility of what you're doing. And wait a second there. And we're just going to take our piping, and it doesn't matter the size. This is much larger than it needs to be. I usually cut it about a yard, um, uh, an inch and a quarter to an inch. But the size is totally irrelevant, and you're going to see why in a few minutes. 